Tebo, 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 what are we going to do with you? Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 100% Chelsea and welcome to a little video because basically I'm just going to slag off Tebo Courtois because why not? Because he's been doing the same for us. So, first of all, I'm going to read to the comments that he's been saying about Chelsea because we haven't actually fully addressed Tebo Courtois as a man himself and uh, clearly he needs a bit of a conversation, doesn't he? He needs to learn some manners. So, basically, according to various media outlets, Oh, so we've got Jack as well, if he wants to join in. If you want to come in and say a few words about him, let's put the angle here. Oh, I like Jack. Of course, I've been a bit of a prick again, haven't I? <laughs> Do you want to take a few? Chat about it. Oh, I mean, I haven't got too much more to say, to be oh, honest. Mate, well, I mean, to be honest, if you want to see more, more of what Jack's got to say, make sure you check out Sad Bastard's Corner. But, basically, I told Jack what Thibaut Courtois said, and he uh, he wasn't particularly happy. No, I wasn't. What he said. I wasn't. Uh, uh, obviously, while we're here as well, make sure you do check out Sad Bastards Corner. That'll be live at 7am tomorrow morning. So make sure you hit that old notification button and that way you know what's going on. But, if I have a look through it, where was it? Here it is. Uh, found it. Okay, so Thibaut Courtois said this. He said, uh, The Burnabout is twice as big as Stamford Bridge. It's a very different feeling. If you look forward, you see only a wall of people. While at Stamford Bridge, you can still see the sky or the hotel behind the grandstand. In training, you see the level of, of Real Madrid is high. I'm now experiencing on a daily basis that Ramos is the best centre-back in the world. Not the best defender, though, because he's not Cesar Azpilicueta. But the level of Real Madrid is higher than Chelsea. First of all, no shit. It yeah. is higher. Yeah. It's because they've won three Champions League T-by. That's why you've got your ass sat on the bench with splinters in it. But uh, I want to talk about this one, where you're talking about the Bernabeu and Stamford Bridge and trying to compare them in a quite a uh, scathing manner. Go on, let let rip, because you said you, you you wanted to let rip on this. Look, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not one for having a guy at players, but th this is just one of those things which you've got to say, you've, you're not showing respect. At the end of the day, and that's all we care about as Chelsea fans, you show respect to the club. And um, it doesn't matter whether you're a past or present, I think it's, it's something you've got to do, and mm. he'll say his, he'll, his defense will probably say, "Well, it's, it's straight facts." Well, yeah, but it's not about that. It's about the meaning behind what you've said. Yeah. And um, as I said, yeah, obviously Real Madrid are a bigger club than Chelsea, j just based on pretty much everything. But that's it's just not the point. I feel obviously I feel betrayed, but it's just we've given Courtois so much in his career, mm. and um, it feels a bit like he's just throwing it back in our face, really. And um, mm. he wanted the move, so we gave him the move. Yeah, we didn't we didn't pressure him. We didn't keep him at the club and not play him or anything like that. We've not been particularly mean to him, but it just seems like he's given. Maybe maybe stuff went on behind the scenes, but as fans looking at it from the outside in, that's just the way I think. To be fair, we we, we see it. I agree. He he joins the list of players like William Gallas and Winston Bogart, William Gallas and Winston Bogard that are just pricks, quite <laughs> frankly. I mean, he's not going to get a clap from me when he comes to Stamford Bridge. If he does come, I don't care. Um, if he gets a mention or whatever, he's not, you know, last week we saw Nathan Ake and Begovic come back mm. to the Bournemouth game. They got a good reception from, well, obviously where we were, so we see them, they're sitting in Matthew Harding. So he got he got um, a good reception there, Nathan Ake and Begovic. Courtois will not get that because of exactly what Jack's just said. We didn't do anything bad for him. For a start, let's talk about when we brought him to, brought him to Chelsea. Christoph Lollishon. The best goalkeeping coach on the planet, who came up with the best techniques, which is what I'm sorry about the sound, guys, but um, the best techniques in terms of um, how to coach keepers and basically formatted what the general consensus of how to coach a keeper now, which is what every single club uses. He brought it, uh, Courtois to Chelsea. Courtois then goes, I don't like his methods. We don't want to use him anymore. I don't like him. I'm going to refuse to train. We bowed to him, went fine, okay, we'll find you someone else. Bring in someone else. I want a bigger contract. Okay, fine, no worries, we'll give you a bigger contract. I want a loan move. Okay, we'll send you to, uh, to Atletico Madrid. I want this, okay. I want to replace your best ever goalkeeper, Petr Cech. Fine, no worries, you can come in whenever you want. When Cech was still decent, by the way, we'd like to add. We did all of that, not, no, the club did, and you are a disgrace for saving, saying what you said. And it's as simple as that. You, you literally have just turned around and said that Chelsea is shit when they put you in this position as Jack said in Sad Bastard's Corner there'll be a clip out of that later after this obviously um, but yeah I'm just disgusted quite frankly um, I hope you stay on the bench I hope your price goes down and let's be honest mate you weren't anything special you weren't you're a good goalkeeper but that's about it you're not going to be remembered as one of the greats ever Someone's gonna, someone else is going to turn up at Real Madrid and replace you and you are going to be forgotten about because you are bang average, mate. 
You've had great defenses in front of you. We've talked Belgium. We can talk Chelsea. You've had very good teammates. You do make pull that pull off the saves that keepers should make. But you just make it look better by doing a bigger dive. Oh my God! Look at me. Yeah. Look, I'm not bitter about him going. For me, it's kind of a case of thank fuck you're gone mm. in my head because if he's going to act like that. Yeah. Well, but, it was a build up, wasn't it? It was a build up of stuff last yeah. season. Yeah, it was. And to be, to be honest, it's just something which I, I'm just really pissed off about. When you read that in the morning, you're like, okay, he's gone now. Brilliant. He can just crack on with his career. We can get on with ours. Go our separate ways. Be professional. Done. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's it for me. I mean, yeah. I, I, I've I've said my piece, and uh, that's 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 the way I feel. And the way you feel is is where, where pretty much everyone feels is strong, because we are right to feel that way. And um, you know, it's it's a shame the way it's gone, but mm. unfortunately, that's the reality of it now. Mm. And um, he's done what he's done. Exactly, and it, it can't be unsaid. No. And um, as a football fan, you don't, you know, you still hold on to those things in the past. I mean. Look, other fans, they, all, they still chat about Terry, this, that and the other. Fans still chat about gigs and all that type of thing. See, people don't forget nah. at the end of the day. And uh, we won't forget about this. No, he's, he's, he's made this rod for his own back. And he always, he, everything he says, he always does. He talks about being, one thing I will talk about, he talks about being a family man. You don't mention about all the people you shag behind your missus' back, have you? Thank you. Fuck you, you're a dick. You're a big nosed twat. To quote Liam, to quote Vizza. But he's a nice big nice twat. You're just a twat twat. No one yeah. likes you. Let's be, let's be honest, it's like, you, 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 all this stuff you're saying, exactly. people don't forget. People haven't forgotten about him trying to chat up the girls from Love Island last year. People haven't forgotten about the waitress he tried to shag, or did shag, and said, oh, I don't have any family. Come mm. on, man. Like, don't play the game. If you, if you Don't be a player if you don't like the game. It's as simple as that. Simple. So, um, yeah, I think that's all we have to say on the matter before we actually lose our rag, because, <laughs> let's be honest, this video is now not going to get monetized at all, because <laughs> you are a fucking twat. But other than that, um, yeah, <laughs> you should subscribe to 100% Chelsea for that's more it. stuff like this, if stuff happens. Uh, all social media links in the description, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Make sure you check out Jack's socials, make sure you check out my socials. Obviously, um, hit that big red button down below, and that uh, notification bell, so you know when videos go live, and then that way, you know when Jack's next episode at Sad Bastards Corner is live. But, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, Take we're, it, done. we're, we're done. done. I'm going to need a pint because I'm going to get one now. See you later. Bye.